Welcome back to the Electrician's Tool Channel. Today we're gonna go over uh, my new Klein Tools AFCI uh, GFCI outlet tester. Uh, it's brand new. I just took it out of the pack for this video. Uh, I've never used it yet on on, 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 uh, on this demonstration that I'm about to do in a minute. So uh, I don't know how it's gonna perform. Uh, so most of you, I mean, some of you may already have this tool already. I don't. I have one similar to this. It's by Ideal. Uh, I have one that I, I like it a lot. But the reason why I bought this Klein uh, AFCI, GFCI tester is because my Ideal uh, tester, uh, it only is rated for only 30 milliamps when testing an AFCI, GFCI uh, outlet. And some AFCI outlets... Um, the milliamp rating have changed to like 50 uh, milliamps and the, uh, the ideal won't test it. It won't uh, perform the test. It'll try to, but it won't. So I got turned on to this one by one of my viewers. Uh, he was telling me about it um, and I appreciate that. Uh, I think it's a guy from, um, I think the name of his channel, but I do appreciate him the fact that he turned me on to this one. So, um, I do need a tester like this for the line of work that I'm in also. So I need something that would trip the GFI, the AFCI as well as the GFCI. The only thing I don't like about this, um, it doesn't have the digital numbers display and, uh, I, I ideal do. I still have my ideal. I'm going to keep it still a good tester, but just to be sure, uh, with all the different, um, uh, AFCI, breakers and receptacles out there. I, want, I need something that I know for sure that it's going to trip it. So, like I said, I've never used this one before. It's going to be my first time um, testing it out. So, we'll see how it performs. So, let me see what all this here does. Just check AFCI and GFCI devices and identify common wiring faults. Okay. It's CAT3 rated, 135 volts. IP40 rated. For, rated for a two uh, two meter drop. Uh, what does it have? Uh, eight automatic power off. Hmm. They say it detects most common wiring faults in standard AFCI and GFCI electrical outlets. Delivers a clear visual indication of the wiring uh, condition at the uh, electrical outlet. Can detect dual open. Uh, neutral and open ground wiring faults powers off automatically after two minutes of non-use to conserve can be conserved battery life okay that's good uh, it didn't come with a case it just came with this I see a, a, a case would be uh, an accessory optional so but um, let's let's see what it does y'all let's see what it does I got this makeshift uh, AFCI receptacle and it's by Levington and we'll just see what it does. Let me move this out of the way. Okay. set so I have this this is a um, this receptacle right here is AFCI protected so I have it branched off for of this AFCI um, receptacle right here it should still trip so let me just see what happens it's letting me know it's correct wiring is energized the outlet is energized now I'm going to press the, um, the FCI. It, it tripped it. Yes, it did. Now I have to wait till this, okay, wait till this little blinking light stops in order for me to do it again. It's telling me an open hop. So I'm gonna try that again and just see how long you can use this thing without, because after a while they do uh, get hot from using it um, back to back like that. So let's see again. Okay. 
Okay. Encrypt it again. Yeah, sure did. So, correct wiring. Put it on this side. We know it's going to trip because it trips on that side. Okay, correct wiring. Let's do AFCI again. It's good. This is a good tester. And it did trip this breaker. I mean, this uh, receptacle. Uh, so it's doing everything that it said it would do. Uh, glad I made this purchase. Uh, um, it takes uh, three AA batteries. I'm sorry, uh, three AAA batteries. Um, and on a scale from one to 10, I would give this, I give it a whole 10. I give it a perfect 10. Um, like I said, the thing that I don't, I wish it had, it didn't have, I wish it had a digital readout, but that's okay. As long as it does, um, I wish it had a time like the ideal sure test did uh, to let me see how long it took to trip the breaker. You know, I mean, to, to trip the receptacle, but that's okay. It did trip. And so that's what I needed. Um, it feels pretty, real feels pretty sturdy too. It's, you know, it doesn't feel cheap or anything. It, it really feels good. So, um, yeah. This is, this is, this is about, uh, the cable is about 12 inches. So that's, that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Let me just try it one more time. And then we will see. Correct wiring. Yep. Sure did. Yeah. I'm glad I got, I'm glad I made this purchase. Purchase. Uh, if you guys looking for um, an AFCI, GFCI testers, tester and you don't want to use those little cheap things that you can buy in this, for any store for 2 or $3, you know, this is one to get. This is, a, this is a real nice one to get. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little uh, snippet of a video. Uh, if, if this helped you in any kind of way, hit that subscribe video. I mean, hit the subscribe button, hit that like button, leave a comment. And I appreciate you guys for stopping by. Peace out. Take care.